Okay, welcome to Fit and Flow, everyone. If you have hand weights or dumbbells, please grab them. If you don't, I will also show you modifications and different ways to do the exercises as well. Well, let's go ahead and warm up with a little bit of yoga. And today we're going to do Tabata. And Tabata is a fat burning workout. And it's eight rounds of an exercise and it's 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest. And re we repeat that for eight times. And today, I am making our day abs, ass, and arms. So all, all good. Abs, booty, and arms, if you don't want to say the A word. So that's what we're going to be focusing on. Core, booty, and then our upper body. So that's what we're going to be doing. So let's go ahead and begin. Let's start in some beautiful yoga. So let's just sit down on our heels and just take a nice big inhale through the nose and open mouth exhale let's just start to settle in big inhale open mouth exhale good and now gently just place one hand on your heart one hand on your belly and just start to get present to your breath. We're starting a brand new week, a new day. So I want you to set your intention today for your practice. And just being gratitude for another day of life, just waking up, being healthy, joining in for a workout, how awesome that is and that we take that sometimes so much for granted. And now let's take a nice big inhale, arms all the way up. And exhale, bring hands down to the heart. Let's do that two more times. Inhale all the way up. And exhale, hands to heart. One more, big inhale all the way up. And exhale, hands to heart. Good, and just breathe. And now I want you to just take your arms straight out in front of you with palms up. Just being open to receive all of the beauty, the love, the gratitude and goodness that's for you this week, today, right now, at this present moment. Just a symbol of us opening up our palms is that we're open to receive, we're ready to receive any beautiful opportunity coming to us, any opportunities for growth. And just accepting and making our journey more and more beautiful as we go. And now one big inhale all the way up. And as you exhale, bring your hands down and go into child's pose. So arms straight out in front of you, head is down. We'll just take a few breaths here, getting a good stretch into your backside body. Take one more big inhale. And exhale it out. And then gently start to come up and let's come up into tabletop. But what I want you to do here is just already arch the back into cat and then press yourself back into child's pose. And then as you come up, kind of like arch into cow and then press into cat. And then take yourself back into child's pose. So do that a few times at your own breath. So it's just like a little roll as you come up to get yourself right into cow. And exhale into cat, arching the spine. And then pressing back into child's pose. Good. Just keep going at your own breath. Make it a nice little flow of movement. 
And let's do one more. And then hold your cat. And I want you to start to rock side to side in your cat, just to really stretch out the side body. Good. Very nice. And then back into tabletop. And now let's just tuck our toes under and just press up just about an inch off of your mat. So knees are off the mat, core is tight. So we're just warming up the belly. Breathe, hold for three, for two, and exhale, downward facing dog. And just start to pedal out your heels. Ah, feels so good. Take any movement that feels good for you. If you want to take your heels to the side on each side to stretch out your calves, feel free to do that as well. It feels so good. Yeah. Inhale up, exhale press. And now as we're in down dog, let's do like a nice little wave into high plank. So just wave your body forward into high plank. And as you exhale, press back into down dog. Do that about three more times. Just wave with your spine, let it come over. And then exhale, press down dog. Good, two more. Just allow the body to flow and press back. Last one. Core tight and press back. Beautiful. And I want you to inhale your right leg high. And just square off your hips here. And just take a few moments just to breathe. Good. And now exhale, knee to your nose. And now take this knee, your right knee, to the right side. And now take it over to the left side. Here's this going side to side. One more time on each right and left. Back to center. And now step through, low lunge. Drop your back knee down and rise, crescent moon. And just relax the shoulders down the back. And now take the elbows down, a little baby back bend. Squeeze those shoulder blades together, getting a good stretch into the chest. And inhale, bring it back up. And exhale, hands down to your mat. Plant your left palm, take the left knee off your mat. Right arm is up, twist. Keeping the left hip lifted. You can always stay down on your back knee as well. Breathe. <sighs> One more big inhale. And as you exhale, plant your right palm down. Step back into high plank. And let's go through our first vinyasa, shift forward. Exhale, chaturanga, half of a push up. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Good, take a big inhale. Open mouth, exhale. And now inhale your left leg high. Square off your hips first. Just take a few breaths here. Getting a good stretch into the right leg. Now one more big inhale. Exhale, knee to your nose. Take your knee to the left elbow. And now swing it over to the right. One more time each. Left, core tight, over to the right. Back to center and step through. Drop your back knee down and rise, crescent yoga. <sighs> Relax the shoulders down your back. Big inhale here, exhale, baby back bend. Elbows down, squeeze the shoulder blades together. Don't forget that squeeze of the shoulder blades. That's the best feeling right there. And then inhale it up. And exhale, hands down to your mat. Plant your right palm, right knee is off the mat, and left arm is up and twist. Getting a good twist into the spine. 
keeping the right hip lifted. One more inhale. And as you exhale, come back down to your mat. Step your left foot back to meet your right. Go through your vinyasa, shift forward. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. So good. Inhale, gaze to your hands. Slowly walk your feet forward to meet your hands. And stay over in forward fold. Shake your head yes. Shake your head no. If you'd like to clasp opposite elbows, rock side to side, feel free. Getting a good stretch into the hamstrings, the glutes, and the lower back. <sighs> so good. And then gently plant your palms. Bring your feet to touch, toes touch, sliver of space between the heels. And now I want you to inhale your right leg high. Keep your hips nice and square. So we're in standing splits. But now I want you to take this right foot to the outside of your left foot. And now inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Now we're gonna stretch a little bit more. So keep your hips square, but start to walk your hands to the left side, pulling your right hip back. So you're getting a good stretch into that right side. So don't let your hips go forward. Keep pulling that right hip back. And breathe. Continue to let your head be heavy. And then gently back to center. And now let's walk our hands over to the right side. This time pulling the left hip back. So don't let your hips move, pull this left hip back while your hands are on the right side. Such a good stretch. <sighs> Gently back to center and now inhale your right leg high and exhale forward fold. So good, let's do the other side now. Inhale your left leg high and then take it behind your left foot, or your right foot, I should say, sorry. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. And now start to rock your hands over to the right side, keeping your left hip back. So left hip is staying back, let your head be heavy. Inhale, back to center. Walk your hands over to the left side, Pulling the right hip back. And breathe. And then gently back to center. And inhale the left leg back up. Standing splits. And exhale forward fold. And inhale rise. Halfway lift. Exhale forward fold. And rise all the way up. Mountain pose. Ooh, and hands to heart. Good. Let's take one more vinyasa. So inhale all the way up. And exhale forward fold, hinging at your hips. Take yourself all the way down your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Plant your palms, step or hop back. Go through your flow. You can always be on your knees as well. Or if you want to take a cobra instead of up dog, that is perfectly fine. Exhale, down dog. Good. And then come on down to your knees. All right. So good. All right, everyone. We're starting with abs today. Abs. So we have three movements for abs. And it's to bottom, which means we do this eight times through one set one exercise before we go to the next exercise. So get ready. If you have weights for our last movement, hand weights, bring them to your mat to the sides because we're going to do some punches. Okay. So let me see. Ah! That's my All right, Tiffy. Okay. Our first move are in and out for core. So you're going to be down. Bring your knees in. You're going to try to grab the ankles or the shins. Back down. Breathe out. 
breathe in. Okay, eight sets of this. Get ready. So remember, if you can't come all the way up, no worries. Just come up as high as you can. Here we go. In three, two, go. Bring it all the way up and down. So grab either the shins or the ankles. Breathe out as you come up. Inhale as you go down. Inhale, exhale. Actually breathe out as you come up. Good. Tummy is tight. Use that core and stop. You have a 10 second breather. Seven more sets of this, that's all. Get ready, go, breathe. Tummy tight, abs, ass, and arms today. The three A's, triple A's today. Breathe, tummy tight, good, and stop. Two down. Very good, get ready, five seconds. Use the core, core is tight, belly tight, go. Breathe out, breathe in. Good. Tummy is tight. Keep going. Use that belly to pull you up. And stop. Three down, everyone. Five more to go. You're doing awesome. Get ready. Go. I drank a lot of water. I feel the fluids in my belly. <laughs> Breathe. Good. Squeeze the belly as you pull yourself up. One more. Good. Four down, four to go. So as we keep going, it may get be a little more challenging. Just watch your form. Go. If you need to, you can do a crunch. Okay? Either way. Just keep moving. Core is tight. Use your breath. Do not hold your breath. Breathe. And stop. Five down, three more sets to go. Woo! Say thank you to this, all these muscles under there. Go. Breathe out. Breathe in. Really squeeze and contract as you come up. Tighten, embrace the core. Five seconds. Woo! Good. Six down, two more sets to go. Whew. Then we have three exercises, three movements of core. Go. So this is our first movement. Breathe. Breathe out. Breathe in. Whew. I'm feeling him. Make the belly pull you up. And stop. One more set. Then we move on to the next one. Core tight, get ready. Go, breathe out, breathe in. You got this. Breathe, halfway there. Woo. Almost there. And stop. Woo. Very good. Take a little stretch. <sighs> good, now we're gonna work our side obliques. So, left foot is up, right leg is down, hands are behind the head. You're going to twist just to one side. Then for the next one, we're going to alternate sides every other time, okay? So those obliques, you want that challenge, keep that right foot off the ground. Get ready, go, twist. Think of your right shoulder trying to touch your left knee. Breathe, 
Now you can always have the right foot down. Challenge is to keep it up. Breathe. Breathe out, breathe in. Core is tight. And stop. Now we're gonna switch. Right leg is up, left leg long. Get ready. Either foot is down or up. Go. Twist. So visualize not your elbow, but your shoulder trying to reach your knee. This way you pull that shoulder up higher using your obliques. <sighs> Very nice. Now we're back to the first leg. Left leg up. Get ready. Tummy tight. Go. Twist. Breathe out as you come up. You got this. Work those sides. We're working the obliques. Almost there. And release. Woo! I am definitely feeling these. Now we're going to do the other side. Right leg is up, left leg down. Here we go. Breathe. Think of the shoulder, not the elbow. Keep the elbow open. So some people like to do this. No, keep the elbow open. Breathe. Woo! Four down. Four more to go. We're back to the left leg up. Tummy tight, scoop that belly button in. Go. Belly is tight, like you're visualizing it touching the floor, your belly button. Scoop it in. Breathe. This foot can also be down this way, or right? Okay. Whatever feels good for you, just keep moving. Good. Other side. Now I'm starting to sweat. Right leg up, left leg out. Get ready. Go. Twist. Twist. Think of the shoulder going towards your knee. Breathe out on your way up. Breathe in on your way down. Five seconds. And stop. Woo! Two more sets, one more on each side, everyone. We got this, left leg up, right leg long. Go, breathe. Try to challenge yourself and pull yourself up, your shoulders, even higher than the last time. You will feel the burn. Breathe. Almost there. Woo! One more set, our other leg. We're burning triple A's today. Go. Twist. Breathe out, breathe in. Try to bring yourself up higher than your last set. Halfway. Breathe. Three seconds. And release. Woo! Take your body straight out. Take a nice stretch. And then I'm gonna show you our next movement. Woo. So you can do this with or without weights. It's up to you. We're gonna do punches. So here's what it looks like. You go down, come up, punch, punch, down, up, up. You can also do it without the weights. You can do it just with your hands, so whichever you prefer. Okay, let's get ready. With or without your weights, my hair is going up even more so, which means hardcore business. <laughs> okay, let's go. And go. I'm using my weights. Core tight. Whenever you use weights, nice and controlled. Slow on your way down. Breathe out on your way up. Tummy tight. Get a good twist and stop. That's one, seven more to go, just like that. Really control yourself on your way down. Don't come all the way up 
and go. When you come up, keep a slight lean back so that you're getting those obliques. Breathe. Good. You're keeping the tension on the core. Breathe. Stop. Two down. Good job. Get ready for number three. Tummy tight. Go. 10 seconds goes by fast. Breathe out as you punch. Inhale as you go down. Breathe out as you come up. Good. Core tight. And stop. Three down. Woo! Doing good. Get ready. Nice and controlled. Go. We got this. Set number four already. Breathe. Get a good twist. And stop. Four down, four to go. Yes! Get ready. Go. Bring it up. Tummy tight. Breathe. 10 seconds. You got it. Woo! And stop. Five down, three to go. Woo! Get ready. Scoop that belly in. Go. Twist. You got it. Scoop that lower belly in. Control yourself on the way down. Breathe. Woo! Good. Two more, two more rounds, everyone. Checking myself. Get ready. Go. Yes. I love working on core. But really, we're always working on our core throughout our workout. Woo! And stop. One more. Then we move on to arms. Get ready. Go. Last set. Breathe. Breathe out as you come up. Breathe in as you go down. You want to take a nice big stretch, lay yourself all the way down. Get a good stretch into the belly. Big good morning stretch as if I'm pulling you all the way from your wrists to your ankles. And then you can also take your hands out to a T, bring your knees in, and take a nice little spinal twist. <sighs> and breathe. Good, back to center. On over to the other side to release any tension in the lower back from your core work. If your lower back aches, and then gently roll up. If your lower back aches during core work, it's usually because you're starting to use your lower abs more than your core, which means the core needs to be a little stronger, okay? So always just focus on that. That's what I'm always saying, squeeze, engage. All right, here we go, arms. We're going to do a curl and press. Now, if you don't have weights, you can do push-ups. But if you do have some weights, I want you to do a curl and press. And today we're going to be on our knees. So stay on your knees. If you have a yoga block or even grab a pillow from your couch, I want you to place it in between the legs. So either a block or a pillow. And I want you to squeeze like you want to break the block. And what we're doing here when we're squeezing 
for engaging the inner thighs, the lower abs, and the glutes. It helps us keep our form better, so we're still working it. Also, you get some Kegel work. That's a plus, a bonus in there. All right, so a curl and press looks like this. A bicep curl into a press. Get ready. Go. Set number one. Inhale and exhale. So if you do have soup cans, you can use them here. If you have some jugs with water, those will be even heavier. Or if you have one heavy weight or a medicine ball, keep going. You can even do it this way, straight up and down. Breathe. So there's different things you can use. Stop. Good. That's one down. Get ready for set number two. Squeeze your block. Here we go. Take it up. Inhale and exhale. Squeeze your block. You don't want your body moving. You just want the arms moving. Inhale. Exhale. Breathe, breathe. Good. Keep the core tight. Nice and controlled movements all the way up, all the way down. Good. Two down. Very nice. If you need more padding underneath your knees, place your towel or double up your mat. Get ready. Number three, right here. Inhale and exhale. Squeeze your block. Breathe out on your way up. Breathe in on your way down. I think I might have said it wrong the first time I said it. Good. Always breathe out on exertion when you're working with weights. Good. Squeeze and really squeeze the muscles. Stop. Good. Very nice. I think that's three already. Yes. Yeah. Get ready for number four. Don't forget about squeezing your block or your pillow. And go. Good. If you have heavier weights, take your time. Go slower. If you have lighter weights, you can speed it up just a bit, but with good form. Good. Breathe. You got this. Good. And stop. Four down. I'm going to try to double up my weight here just to make it a little heavier. Get ready. Go. Curl. Press. So you see I'm going a little bit slower because it's heavier. So adjust depending on the weight that you're doing. Good. Breathe. Squeeze the block. You got this. Good. And stop. Good. All right, get ready. Try to grab these. Go. Curl and press. Breathe, I believe. This is set number six. Breathe. Yes, you got it. Core tight. Squeeze your block. Breathe out as you press up. Breathe in as you go down. Woo. Keep it going. Stop. Good. Yes, this is number seven. Get ready. Core tight. Go. Curl. Press. So we're working the arms. We're working the biceps and your shoulders. Breathe. Good. Tummy is tight. Good, good. Keep it going. Squeeze. Woo. Squeeze your block. And stop. We have one more. One more round. Get ready. Three, two, go. Core is tight, so engage the belly. Squeeze your block. Use your breath. Good. All the way up and down. And when we're on our knees, it's a little bit harder because we're not using the whole body to try to get the weights up. Breathe. Good. And stop. So good. Okay, now we're doing chest press. So we're still gonna stay on our knees. I like this concept. So you're getting the elbows together, okay? You can even do this without weights. You will still feel it. Squeeze the chest. Think of squeezing together. So with or without weights, you can also switch into push-ups. Wide push-ups or chaturanga push-ups, tricep push-ups, either way. Okay, get ready. Either with weights, without weights, or push-ups. Arms are up, keep the elbows up. Go, squeeze, breathe, 
breathe. So it's like you want to bring those elbows together. Breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in. Core tight. Good. Working the upper body. Yes, keep going. And stop. One down. Woo. At the beginning, these are like, okay, but you'll feel them. Take it up. Get ready. Go. Squeeze. You got it. Breathe. Good. Keep it going. Get those elbows together. Very nice. Or you're doing push-ups. Squeeze your block and stop. Good. I'm going to show you without your weight so that you can see you can still get the same work. You just really want to focus on go. So without weight, bring the entire arm together. Elbow all the way to the palms. Squeeze. 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 Good. Core tight. Get those elbows in. Squeeze your block and stop. Woo! So when I did those right now, I even felt that way more in my shoulders. So as you're squeezing, I'm going to do one more like that to show you to continue. Go. Squeeze. So you're either with your weights or your hands or you're doing push-ups. So the entire arm comes together without weights. Breathe. Good. And you can even hold it for a second. Take it out. Good. Nice. Woo. Four down. Four to go. Get ready. Here we go. Going right back to weights. Squeeze. Good. Get those elbows. You should be feeling the burn. Breathe. Tummy is tight. Squeeze your block or squeeze your pillow. Almost there. Five seconds. Woo! And stop. Woo! I feel those puppies. Feel free on the break to take a quick little break. Swing the arms around. Get ready. Go. Squeeze the chest. Every time you come in. Good. Squeeze your block. Breathe. Keep going. Two seconds. Woo! Excellent. Good. I'm going to show you one more way to do it also. Get ready. So if you have one heavy weight, or let's say you have a water jug, just one. Up and up. Okay? So you'll hold it here, and you're still getting the biceps. You're still getting the press. Showing you different ways to do it at home, just in case you don't have all the equipment. So good. Oh, wow, we have one more. Okay, get ready. Make it good. Go. Just having you do it that way in case you just have one. Just showing different ways to do it. Good. Breathe. Breathe. Woo. You got this. Squeeze. Squeeze. Three seconds. Breathe. And stop. Woo! Circle out those arms. You should feel them. Woo! All right. Now we're standing up. So we're doing a bent over back row into a side lateral raise. Here's what it looks like. Hinge at the hips, okay? Back is flat. I don't want it to see anything like this. Flatten that back. So think of collarbones open, okay? Back row into flies. These are reverse flies, so they work the back of our shoulder, okay? So we're working on our lats. And we're working on the rear shoulders. Get ready. Eight sets of this. Bend it over. Four tight. Go. Pull. Take it out. Pull up. Take it out. You can use your soup cans here. You can even go one arm at a time. If you just have one weight. Breathe. Pull the elbows up. And then out. Squeeze. And up. So good. Very nice. Get 
get ready for set number two. Bend it over. Go. Core tight. Squeeze. Tuppy tight. Get those elbows high on the back row. And just shoulder level when you go out to the rear delts. Woo! Two down. Very good. How are we doing? All right, get ready. Number three, hinge at the hips. Go, pull, out. Good, keep going. Breathe. Tubby tight, 10 seconds. Very important to keep the core tight. If you notice you're having a hard time with the core, put the block or the pillow back in. Get ready. Go. Set number four. This helps you focus on squeezing the block, which helps you engage lower abs. Breathe. We got this. Tummy tight. Woo! If it bothers your lower back at all, focus on the belly. Come up just a little bit. Get ready. Go. Number five. So what I mean if it bothers the lower back, come up just a tad right here. But you're still bent if this bothers too much. Squeeze the core. Good. Almost there. And stop. Woo! I hope you are swimming. Because I sure am. Three more. Go. Squeeze. Like I said, if you need to. Right here. Nice and controlled. Take it over even more. Squeeze your block or your pillow. Breathe. You can always do one arm at a time. Also, breathe. Woo! Also feeling in the booty. Two more, everyone. Number seven, coming up. Get ready, go. Yes, breathe. This is our last movement of arms, then we're going to booty. Triple A's. Core tight. Woo. Good. Felt that. Our last set. Make it good. Go. Breathe. Squeeze your block or your pillow or come up just a little bit. So make sure you have a bend and always make sure your knees are bent. Do not lock out your knees. Squeeze. Woo! And stop. You can now release the top. Woo! So good. Let's take a nice big inhale all the way up. Mountain exhale for it full. Yeah. And just take a wide stance. And let your head be heavy. Good. And now turn your heels in, toes out. Drop the booty and bring the elbows in. And if this is difficult, don't worry. You can always sit on the block and do it this way as well. Just getting a good stretch. And let's just open up, stretch, twist, and back, twist. Good, and back. Plant the palms, roll yourself up. Good. And let's just move any of your weights out of the way. Slowly roll yourselves all the way up. Good. All right. Let's do one vinyasa and then we're on the booty portion. Inhale all the way up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Plant your palms, step or hop back. And Go through your flow. Good. It's a good stretch in that up dog. You want to stay for a few moments. 
and come on down to your knees. Woo! All right, here we go into booty. So we're gonna start with hip thrust. So we're on our back. Now I'm gonna show you two different ways to do it. If you want to use your block and do one at a time, you definitely can. So if you don't have a block, both feet are on the ground. We're doing hip thrusts. Just right here, up and down. You're gonna squeeze the glutes and the hamstrings. If you want to add weight to that, you can place your dumbbells right on your hips. Make sure you hold them and up and down, okay? If you want to get a little creative, we've done these before in Butoga. Plant your left foot on the block, right leg is up, and you're going to do one leg hip thrust. And every other set, you're going to switch. So I'm going to show all three, but I'm going to start with both feet on the floor. Okay, so pick what you're gonna do. Get ready. All right, seven seconds. So I'm gonna plant my feet onto my mat. I have one, wait, and go. Hip thrust, up and down. Breathe. Right before the butt touches the floor, you're back up. Make sure your entire foot is on the mat. Squeeze and press up through the foot. Squeeze your glutes, squeeze your hamstrings every time you come up. And stop. That's one, seven more to go. I'm gonna do four like this, and then I'm gonna do four switching out my feet. Get ready. But you can do whichever you feel like doing. Squeeze, squeeze. I even like to take a second to squeeze it up on top before I go back down. And keep your core tight at the same time. Good. Three. And release. Two down. Very good. Get ready. Squeeze those glutes. Hold on. All right. Discard that. So we're going to restart set number three. Here we go. In five. Tell me tight. You got a little breather. <laughs> Go. Take it up. Good. Breathe. Breathe. Remember, squeeze every time you come up. Hold it for a second. Really focus on the muscles. What are you working? Focus on that muscle and squeeze it. Release. Three down. Going on number four. I'm going to do one more like this, then I'm going to do single leg. Here we go. Take it up, breathe, squeeze the booty, squeeze and hold, squeeze and hold. Good, core is tight as well. Keep that whole foot on the mat, breathe. Almost there, and stop. Four down, four to go. I'm gonna switch to show you the other way. One foot is on the mat or a block. And go, lift. So it's a one leg hip thrust. Core tight, make sure you plant and push through the foot. That's on either on your mat or the block. Breathe. Good. Woo, I feel these. Nice. Good. Actually, I'm gonna do one more on this side, then I'll switch to the other side. I'm just gonna make this side burn even more. Go. If you're switching, perfect. You can alternate for sure. Breathe. Squeeze that booty. Squeeze it. Almost there. Woo. Oh, my word. So good. Now I'm doing the other side. Switch if you're alternating. Go. Press through the heel, or the whole foot really, but press through the foot that's on the floor or your block. Squeeze. Keep your core tight. Squeeze the glutes, 
Squeeze the hamstring. Breathe. Breathe. Good. One more set, everyone. One more set. Awesome work. Get ready. Go. Focus on the muscle. So focus on your glutes. Squeeze every time you come up. If you need to go slower, do it. So important to focus on the muscle. Use the muscle and not momentum. Breathe. And release. Woo! And bring your knees into your chest. Rock side to side. Smack that booty of yours. Woo! And then grab behind your legs. Roll it on up. Okay. Now we're on to tabletop. And we're doing doggy lifts. So you can do it with or without a weight. It's up to you. So we're in tabletop. Make sure your wrists are right underneath your shoulders. And we're lifting. Doggy lift. If you want to add a little challenge to it, take a light weight right behind your knee. Make sure you squeeze it. You lift with the knee, so it just adds a little bit of weight to it. All right. We're going to do four on one side, and then we'll switch to four on the other side. Same thing. Go. Keep the core engaged. Breathe. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out as you lift up. Halfway there. Squeeze. The higher you lift your knee, the more you're getting into the side booty. Breathe. And stop. Woo! All right, three more on this side. Get ready. Go. Lift. 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 Tummy is tight. Breathe. Good, keep it going. With or without those weights, I want you to squeeze that outer thigh, the side of that booty. Woo! Two more. My hair is wild today, which means you know it's a good workout. <laughs> and go. Number three. Breathe. The triple A's. Abs, arms, and ass, ladies and gentlemen. Good. 10 seconds. Try not to let the knee touch the floor. Woo! So good. One more on this side, then we'll switch. Your other leg may be feeling it as well. It's the stabilizer. Go. Last time on this side. I think. Three. Good. Yes, it is. Tummy tight. Keep your back flat, so don't let it hang and don't overarch it. Core tight. And stop. Good. All right, switch it to the other leg. I just need to get this hair out of my face. Oh, doing good, everyone. So with or without your weight on the other side, but whatever you did, on the first side, you must do on the other side. This may burn a little bit more because this side, the right side, is already tired from stabilizing. Go. Lift. Core tight. Breathe. Think of those nice tight buns. Breathe. Good. Breathe out as you lift your knee. Stop. One down, three to go. So awesome. How are we doing over there? All right, get ready. Go. Lift. If you're using the weight, make sure it is nice and secure. Breathe. Yes. Five seconds. Woo! Two down, two to go. So good. Get ready, number three. Lift that leg. 
Lead with your knee. Lead with your knee. Good. Woo! The opposite side should be burning as well. You got this. We're in this together. Stop. Tight booties. Woo! One more round. One more round. Get ready. Go. Core is tight. Make sure that weight is secure if you're using it. Breathe out, breathe in. Woo! I don't know about you all, but I'm feeling my booty. Almost there. And stop. Woo! Take it back. Take your hips to one side, then the other side. Get a good stretch. Woo! So good. Oh my word. I totally lose track of time. But we did start like five minutes after. So this is gonna be our last movement. And we're gonna do rainbows. So here's what rainbows look like. We're in tabletop. Left foot is here. And I take it up like an arch, nice and high like a rainbow, tap it back down. Okay? We will do. Uh, we're gonna do a minute on each leg, okay? One minute on each leg. And then I'll cool you down. So get ready. This is what happens to me. I lose track of time because I just love it. All right, get ready and go. One minute, tap, tap. Keep your hips as square to your mat as you can. Of course, they're gonna turn a little bit as you're doing the rainbows, but get it nice and high, get that arch. Good, breathe. Tummy is tight. Good, when you get nice and high, you're really getting deep into that glute. Good, breathe. Almost there. Five seconds. Three, two, stop. Woo! Very good. Get ready, other side. Tummy tight. Go. Keep going. Get it nice and high. Get that arch. Get that heel up. Breathe. Good. Tummy is tight. Good. You got it. Squeeze the glutes. Squeeze. Whew. You're almost there. Breathe. We got this. Oh, Lordy. I feel it. I hope you do. Five more seconds, push. Three, two, one. Woo! So good, everyone. Excellent work. Let's go ahead and press up into down dog. Woo! Get a nice stretch. Pedal out those heels. Go. So good. And gently walk to your hands. Take your feet out just a bit. A little bit more than hip width. Drop your hips. Place the elbows into the inner thighs. Just hang out here for a moment. Get a good stretch. Whew. Excellent work. Slowly forward fold. And inhale all the way up, nice and easy. Inhale all the way up. And exhale, hands to heart. Excellent work, everyone. Thanks for hanging in there. Woo! Good job. Whew.